March 22nd this year, and West Australian history is being made for all the wrong reasons. Police seize almost 15 kilograms of methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin and ecstasy out of a warehouse in the Perth suburb of Malaga. It's certainly one of the biggest seizures that uh, the WA police have been involved in. We're sort of talking around the $8 million mark. A further raid nets $236,000 in cash. WA is famous for its mining bonanza, but there is a dark side to the boom, including a growing market for illicit drugs. And now it seems some of the world's most infamous gangs could be trying to cash in. Police tell a Perth court they believe the Malaga Hall is linked to a notorious bikey gang that arrived here from the east about three years ago. The gang were part of a wave of bikey arrivals suspected of chasing a slice of the WA drug market. Another gang, the Finks, crossed the Nullarbor around the same time and the Canadian-based gang, Rock Machine, now boasts its biggest Australian presence in Perth. The arrival of the new boys didn't go unnoticed by the local gangs, and soon blood and bullets began to fly. In 2011, the battle between the Rock Machine and Australia's biggest gang, the Rebels, spilled into a suburban shopping centre and sports ground. A bystander took these photos and police charged two men with assault. Things get even more violent in this dramatic CCTV footage of Rock Machine militiaman Benjamin Sipkus shooting Rebels chief Nick Martin. He beats an attempted murder charge but is sentenced to more than six years jail. Benjamin Sipkus told the WA Supreme Court that he was ordered to shoot the Rebels chief that night or face the prospect of being shot himself. It's that sort of deadly logic that prompts the tough police stance on outlaw gangs. We target um, them in particular for illegal activities and obviously we will continue to do that. Fast forward to March this year and the Malaga drug bust. It was just what the police needed to strike at the heart of the suspected bikey link drug trade. It would appear that the syndicate um, that was based around that operation has certainly been um, finished at this stage. The investigation into the Malaga drug bust is now focused on former champion boxer and fight promoter Sean Kelvin Eaton. What are Sean Eaton's bikey connections? There are in, certainly indications that there are associations, uh, but again, those associations are subject of an ongoing inquiry. Sean Eaton once managed a Perth nightclub and, in a previous life, trained international fighter Erin McGowan. There's no suggestion that any of Eaton's boxing associates are involved in criminal activity. And I just want to thank Sean and a very special man in your corner for the last couple of nights in the last uh, round of training. Yeah, um, big thank you to Sean. Now there's a warrant out for Eaton's arrest for his suspected role in the Malaga drug ring. But the 35-year-old has left his partner and two children in Perth and disappeared. Information would indicate that he became aware of our activities shortly after the search warrant was conducted at Malaga and we suspect that he either made attempts to leave the state or had in fact left the state shortly thereafter. So can you just tell us about these two photos, they're sort of parts of uh, Sean's life? Yeah, the two images that we do have, uh, the one on the right is probably the most recent that we were able to obtain. We would expect that he may have changed his appearance, obviously since becoming aware of our involvement. Tell me, obviously he's got a, a goatee in this nightclub shop, but quite conceivably, he's growing his hair, might have even have a beard now. Yeah, that's right. There's a number of ways people can disguise themselves. This is a police artist's impression of how Sean Eaton may look with a beard. I urge all members of the community, if you're aware of Mr Eaton or know of him, then please contact Crime Stoppers um, so that we're able to locate him and obviously put him before the court in relation to these matters.